peeps, welcome back to Project Synonymous, and in today's video, we're going to get to unboxing an air purifier sent to us by Montfort. Let's get to it. So Montfort sent us this 40 watt CO2 laser, as well as this chiller for the coolant that goes through the CO2 tube. And the last thing they sent to us is this air purifier. So we're going to go ahead and unbox that and test it out today. So what is it? So we all know that lasers create fumes or gases, whether you're burning wood, acrylic, plastics, glass, whatever the case may be, it's going to create some kind of debris that gets kind of broken up, which is a bad smell. Yeah. Or, you know, harmful gases to you. Uh, so what we have done in the past is exhaust that out this window to the outside. But today, with this air purifier, we're going to duct it right into this to filter out those bad odors. We're going to get a little bit more professional today. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ready to get to unboxing? Let's do it. Like these hinges are lockable. I don't know why we would have to lock it. Some ducting. Part of the filtration, it's uh, little graphite or carbon beads. There's certainly a lot of different parts to the filter. So we are going to duct in our laser from the back of that down to this and then back here this one we can still duck out the window I guess if we need to I'm not sure if we need to probably do but we'll see so first things first we need to clear a space for this air purifier so when I built this little rolling cart for the laser I went ahead and cut a hole in the back so that we can duct the exhaust from the laser down into this because we knew we were going to get the purifier. So now all we really have to do is move the ducting through that hole and we can put the new air purifier here. I didn't leave a whole lot of room up top. This thing sure is tall. So neither the laser nor the air purifier came with a clamp that we can use for this one. This one's a bit wider. It does come with one clamp, but that's used for the smaller port that goes out here. This doesn't even make sense though. So we have a little bit of a snag here in that the exhaust tubing that comes with the laser is a bigger diameter than what comes with this. And I thought originally that this hole was going to be this large so that it could accept the laser. And we don't have any kind of adapter in between. It certainly didn't come with one. So I'm not sure how, if we can put this on here, it'd be fine, except there's no real way to clamp this down. So we might have to 3D print an adapter to go into here. This is so big, I don't even think we can tighten up this clamp, see? You're not gonna be able to tighten this clamp in here because this thing is in the way. And again, I don't even know why this is here. Maybe a different laser model this was made for and that laser has maybe this size. I think you're right. I think this is for different sizes of lasers, but I think all we just need to do is measure the diameter of this one, measure the diameter of this hole, and make a 3D print adapter.
Now we're back here a couple days later with a new 3D printed adapter. I probably should have put that on. <laughs> I think it's too tall now. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't make this tall enough. I guess we could raise this up one. No, because I won't be able to get the side on. Measure twice, cut once. So what I can do is I can move this bottom piece up one thing, which will give us enough room on this. So we built this desk custom for this application, but we didn't have the air purifier until after we got it. So we just went off of the measurements online of this thing, but didn't account for that top. Oh well. All in all, we got it to, to fit. So now we can continue working on this. Let's see how it sounds. Ready to do a project? Yep, let's do it. Let's see how well this thing performs. So with it turned on, I can feel a lot of airflow coming out of here. And this is the exhaust port, which has me question kind of what is the point of this air purifier? Do I need to exhaust this out the window? I guess we're going to find out. We'll do some engraving on wood and see if we can smell a lot of fumes coming out of this. And if so, then we have to vent this out the window anyway. So we'll see. So here's our design. We're gonna use some scrap uh, African mahogany that we had left over from another project. So far, how's the smell? I still smell wood. So we are going to have to vent this out the window. It's not as bad, but you can still smell that it's burning wood right now. I don't know if I'd want to vent acrylic into the garage or vent the exhaust when we're burning acrylic in the garage, if I can smell this much wood. But again, I'm not sure what this does. And I think it would have been an easy setup without the few bumps in the roads we had, that being having to make a new 3D printed adapter and having to rebuild the desk to make it fit. Yeah, that was an oversight on our part. Um, we did look at measurements online of the machine but didn't realize the connection for the exhaust also needs to go on top so we should have made a little bit more space in there but whatever. Yeah, it is what it. it is. We got through it. Mm -hmm. So overall my opinion is it does vent out a little bit of the fumes that you would get when burning wood. So we did smell uh, wood. Uh, I wouldn't want to do a big embroidery, or whoa. I wouldn't want to do a big word, yeah. I wouldn't want to do a big lasering project uh, without venting this to the outside. 
um, because there is still a noticeable smell. And if we were doing acrylic, I'd imagine we would still have that acrylic mm -hmm. smell when you laser on acrylic. But I think it will make the acrylic less worse because even when we vent out the acrylic, we can still smell a little bit of it. So maybe this will help with that. Yeah, what I do like about it is there's an active fan pulling air out of the machine. So I think what I'm gonna do is what I've seen some other people with this uh, Montfort laser do is remove the exhaust fan that's actually in here because it is somewhat restrictive. Um, pull that all out and then just allow the air purifier to pull out those fumes and we'll vent out if we have to uh, for those projects. My big issue with this air purifier is that it's it doesn't come ready to connect to this laser. I really would have wished that Montfort would have included an adapter knowing that this machine has a four inch exhaust and this intake is about uh, probably about a two and a half to three inch exhaust uh, mm -hmm. inlet. Uh, so I really would have wished they would have included a adapter of some kind. Luckily we have a 3D printer yeah. and we can create stuff like that, but you may not have that. So just keep in mind. But if you do end up getting this and you have a 3D printer, we'll go ahead and put the design on Thingiverse so you can use it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll mm -hmm. put our design there and you can print it out. Um, wherever your maker space is. So if you get that bump in the road, you can fix it easily. Yeah. Thanks to Montport for sending us these three items. We've been really liking them so far. We've been able to do a lot of projects with it. And if you want to get a Montport machine, we have a code anonymous6 for 6% off your machine. So go ahead and use that. Yeah, check that out in the description. Uh, again, thanks a lot, Montport. We're, we're going to enjoy doing some wood burning projects or other lasering projects. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe to enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on the notifications to get my every single time we post a video. Stay happy. And be happy. Bye.